So first up, we have the iPhone 6. It's not the iPhone 6 Plus um, that has the built-in autofocus. It does help a lot if you're gonna use an iPhone for video to get one of these Cam Kicks remotes. Um, definitely made my life a lot easier. The biggest thing that I wanna demonstrate when shooting with an iPhone or any smartphone, for example, is <clears throat> when I first started doing this, the reason that I went back to shooting with an iPhone 6 is because now I have these Studio Pro lights and it makes a huge difference. I'm in a room, my office has wall-to-wall -wall windows all the way around, and I thought when I first <clears throat> moved to this office that um, that would be enough ambient light, and it turns out that it's not. And I have a little switch system set up like I showed you earlier, and we're gonna see what the iPhone 6 does without any lights. Light one down, light two down. So this is what my videos were like when I first started, and they looked awful. <clears throat> so when I was searching for a vlogging camera, I didn't really know what to get, and I didn't realize that you could use a cheaper camera and still get good footage out of it with just the right lights. So I think this set was probably, I don't remember what the cost is. I know it's under 200 bucks. And the reason that I went back to shooting with iPhone now is because it doesn't matter if I'm inside, I'm outside, if I'm in my comfort zone of my workstation, or if I'm traveling, I can whip it out. I'm comfortable with it. You get a cheap little uh, tripod mount for the, the iPhone 6 on the tripod. You use it like any other camera. Pick up a little remote, get yourself some lights, and you got a dual purpose uh, camera, cell phone, video camera. You're all good to go.